Elon Musk's brain chips are coming to Miami. UM School of Medicine has been chosen as the second site in the country to begin the Neuralink trials. The implant procedure will be overseen by Neuralink scientists and UM neurosurgeons. Joining us live now is Dr. Jonathan Jagged, a neurosurgeon at the site principal investigator for Neuralink at UM. Doctor, thank you so much for being with us tonight. First of all, how exciting is this? How big of a deal is it that Miami, the University of Miami, has been chosen as the second site for this study? Yeah, I mean, I think this is a, a huge deal. Um, what Neuralink has been uh, able to do with this uh, technology, what their engineers and their scientists have been able to design and what their goals are, I think are, are very well aligned with uh, the Miami Project, Miami Project to Cure Paralysis at uh, the Miller School of Medicine. Um, and we're very excited to work with them and have the opportunity to, to push this technology forward. So let's talk about that technology in the simplest terms here. Can you sort of explain to our viewers how this works? How can a brain chip potentially control movement? Right. So, you know, when you when you as a person or an individual thinks about moving, there are certain uh, very discrete areas of one's brain where neural, neuronal activity uh, occurs. And this device takes advantage of us knowing and understanding where those areas are. And they're actually quite small, these areas. So you can really very precisely record neuronal um, activity in these areas. And what's game changing about this device is the way Neuralink um, has designed it. Um, it's extremely small, um, really a little bit, maybe a little bit larger than the size of a quarter. Um, and that, What's in that little, you know, footprint of a quarter is just some absolutely, you know, life changing technology. So how far are we from seeing this sort of technology or maybe it already is? Are we seeing this in, in at least the clinical setting being or trial settings being implanted in people's brains already? And what have some of the results been so far? Right. So this has been implanted already um, on a few occasions. Um, I think the results have been really good. I, you know, you have to understand it's still it's still rather early, mm -hmm. right? Uh, you know, a few patients. What, what's primarily being looked at the, at this point is safety, obviously, and the functionality of the device itself, right? Is this device able to consistently do what it's designed to do? So at this point, that's where we're at. You know, obviously, this could be a game changer in terms of you know improvement in quality of life of those living with spinal cord injury or certain neurodegenerative disorders um, with restoration of ability to interact with the outside world. And so as far as, you know, actual approval, we're still a ways off from seeing this, you know, implemented just for, for patients every day, right? Yeah, I think, you know, I, I, I can't say, you know, when you talk about a company like Neuralink, I don't think anything is, you know, years away. I think I think things move rapidly to some extent. Um, and so I wouldn't say that we're too far away. But I think at this point, all we can really say is that we've got a really novel piece of technology that can be implanted in a relatively, you know, less invasive way than most uh, brain surgeries that are performed these days. Um, and that this technology allows us to sample more neurons than we've ever been able to sample before in such a small area. Um, and so I think that, you know, ultimately, you know, right now it's, it's, it's somewhat, you know, baby steps, but I do think in the not too distant future, there, we, will, we will hopefully see mm -hmm. restoration of the ability of these people living with these things to, to you know, uh, live a better quality of life uh, and interact with, you know, things around their house and, you know, every day. Hey things that you need. And of course, we will be watching and waiting. And once again, the University of Miami right there on the forefront of all these scientific breakthroughs. Doctor, thank you so much for being with us tonight. Thank you for having me. Good night.